Seasons greetings, everyone. It's that time of year when we look back and we reflect on the work at the foundation. Even though 2023 brought many unique challenges, the JBJ Soul Foundation was unshakable and our commitment to helping those struggling with homelessness and food insecurity. This year, the JBJ Soul Kitchen opened a new location, the fourth one on the campus of New Jersey City University, so we could continue to address issues of student food insecurity on college campuses. Throughout the year, we continued to do outreach to those in need. We partnered with several other service providers, such as the Parker Family Health Center and the Mental Health Association of Monmouth County to connect and to support underserved individuals. Soul Kitchen Tom's River also held several community days throughout the year at the Beat Center. These community days provided mobile showers and laundry services, housing assistance, mental health services, COVID vaccines, flu shots, and legal services. The JBJ Soul Kitchen in Red Bank hosted our annual uh, Day of Hope Walk. We had over 300 folks from over 60 organizations join us that day. It's a great day for everyone to come out, network, talk about the work they do, and celebrate all the work that gets done. Then we held our Mulligans for Meals golf outing at Hominy Hills Golf Course, our sixth outing. Everyone had a great time, including me. And I wanted to give a very special thank you to all of our sponsors and the golfers who came out and thanks to the High Lawn and to Nini and DeLuca for their support. Through the support of Home Depot, Barlow's Flower Farm and Sickles Market, our gardens were once again in full bloom this summer filled with vegetables and herbs that we use every day in our kitchens. Our local volunteers tended to those, creating a lovely oasis for people to come and enjoy. Then we had our annual chili cook-off at the JBJ Soul Kitchen, Tom's River. This event is always a fun day, featuring and honoring local first responders as chefs. We're grateful to all of our sponsors, especially Vidya, and congratulations to our winners, the Union Beach Police Department. Uh, the JBJ Soul Kitchen was also selected as the Distinguished Nonprofit of the Year by Tom's River Chamber of Commerce. This award is a testament to the work of our staff, Joanne, Rob, Rob, Kyle, and their commitment to those in need in that community. And of course, to all the amazing volunteers who help them every day. Soul Kitchen Tom's River was also voted TripAdvisor's Traveler's Choice Award for 2023. That means that they were voted the top 10% of the restaurants in the world. In the world. Not to be outdone, but Soul Kitchen Red Bank was also voted the Best of the Best Hidden Gems Award, ranking 12th out of 25 restaurants in the United States. This summer, we had an incredible opportunity to host a table at some of the PNC Art Center's concerts. Our staff and our volunteers spread awareness about the mission in fighting food insecurity. We hosted a raffle and one lucky concert goer won an autographed guitar by me. So thank you to all of the volunteers and our staff who manned the table and worked so hard to make it an awesome fundraiser for us. On the, on the foundation side, the John Bon Jovi Soul Foundation was proud to partner with our good friend Robert Kraft and the New England Patriots Foundation in a joint matching grant for Soldier On. The Gordon H. Mansfield's Veterans Community in Tweaksboro, I always, I pronounce that wrong, Massachusetts. This is a new build that will provide housing and supportive services for veterans who are homeless or at risk of homelessness. The JBJ Soul Foundation joined Project Home in celebrating the grand opening of the Inn of the Amazing Mercy in Kensington, Philadelphia. As an early supporter of this project, I was so impressed with the new recovery residence that is located at the epicenter of this opioid crisis. With 62 rooms for individuals who want to begin their recovery journey in a place that Sister Mary Scullion calls a beacon of equity, love, and community. We look forward to seeing the impact of the inn. For the past five years, the JBJ Soul Foundation has partnered with Pilgrim Baptist Church to uh, run a the Hope and Comfort Warming Center to provide warmth and shelter the, to those who are street homeless. In uh, when the area, when the temperature in our area goes below 32 degrees. This season, we were also happy to announce that the Soul Foundation was able to work with First Baptist Church and open a warming center that will now house women on those uh, cold winter nights. Uh, this, what happens is when they call a code blue, uh, the guests come to Soul Kitchen, they check in, they get a nice hot meal, and then they go to the warming center to, to have a place to stay overnight. The County Office of Emergency Management is no longer placing homeless individuals in motels, and we have seen the number of unsheltered people increase. We're prepared to do all that we can, but we can't do it all. So thank you to everyone who helped with subsidies and supplies for both of our centers. 
Once again, we hosted our annual JBJ Soul Family Thanksgiving at Red Bank and Tom's River. That's one of our other really favorite things that we do. Uh, so when we all come together, we serve our community family style, and we have so much to be grateful for, our staffs, our volunteers, top of the list. We are also so grateful to have been chosen as the beneficiary of the Mistletoe Rock Radiothon on the Boss Radio Station. Thank you to the folks at Press Communications and the amazing talent at 107.1, the Boss, and all the sponsors and donors. We were so knocked out by the donations and by all the kind things that everyone said about the kitchens. You know, most recently we were excited to launch two JBJ Soul seasoning flavors, our delicious Nashville, which has a bit of a kick into it, and it's cilantro lime, My which favorite. is- <laughs> okay, Dorothea's favorite. So check them out on our website and look for new recipes to come. And a special thank you to our friends at IFF International Food and Fragrance for helping us to create our signature seasonings. They give their time, their expertise, and the seasoning to us all at no charge. We hope that you all enjoy cooking up some new recipes and stay tuned for more to come. We are looking forward to 2024 and we will continue the work of the foundation to impact hunger and homelessness. Thank you to everyone who has supported us on this journey through your word or deed. We thank the many volunteers. We thank the support staff who make the kitchen a special place that it is. I want to thank our staff, also Lou, Jamie, Casey, Tessa, Nicole, um, Chris, Teresa, <laughs> everybody, thank you so much for all that you do to make us um, always look good. And we want to thank you very much for your continuing support of the JBJ Soul Foundation and the JBJ Soul Kitchens. I hope you all have a blessed 2024. Thank you for tolerating our <laughs> watching the teleprompter. Uh, we'll see you at the kitchens. Bye. Take care.